Hi, in this video we're going to be using Zucan E3 series to demonstrate how to easily create single line drawings whilst building schematic logic by making use of Zucan E3 series default database. Now within that all we really need is to make just a slight adjustment on one of the sheets. Um, so for this example I've got a sheet called schematic and single line drawing. I'll open up the single line drawing. All I really need to do now is right click, select sheet properties. Uh, once I've done that, down the bottom I add a new attribute and from the drop down I select default view number. Now with that all I really need to do is give it default view number one and click apply. So this is going to call upon the default uh, view one components that are already in the database and uh, make my life quite easy. So once I've done that it's quite simple for me to click drag and drop and by default it's going to go for this particular page to a single line item. Um, so as you can see, these three, they do have the hash one to represent the view one. Um, and if I hover over it, it does tell me it's a view one component as well. So once I've done that, I can connect them up as normal. Um, and then the only other thing I need to do is give some wires. So once I click and assign wire cores to these, I've pretty much connected these three. So you can see with the different numbers, it's, they have three poles on either side. And therefore there'll be three connections or three cores per connection. So once I've done that, I can open my schematic page. If I finish my single line drawing and I want to come and build a schematic now, I can come back under the device tab on the bottom left. Um, I can open up F for the circuit breakers. I can select them all, right click, place new device view. So all I really need to do, if there's different options, you could select it, but I'm just going to stay with the default and add them as required. So I'm just placing them anywhere for now. And you can see as I place them, there's already the dotted lines which are representing the core logic or the signal logic, which you can actually switch off should you need to. Um, otherwise, you can even have the um, conductor logic lines as well. So once again, quite simply, once you create your single line drawings, you can mimic the logic and then you can build your schematics based on your design. If you have any more questions or if you need to ask anything, let us know. Otherwise, check out um, www.powerjumptechnologies.com.au Thank you.